In this lesson, I am going to teach you how to take a random equation and turn it into slope intercept form. So, so remember that slope intercept form is when the equation is written like this, where this part here is called the slope, and this part here is called the y intercept and what you must remember is that the y value must always be alone that is so important the y value must always be alone okay so in this lesson i'm going to show you how to convert it and then i'm also going to do three examples with you okay so i'm first just going to show you a practice example and then we'll do three examples after that so you can practice yourself so what you do so let me say let me give you an example so 3y minus 2x equals 4. now remember your only goal right now is to get the y alone that is all that you must be thinking about right now so what you can do is you could take this 2x to the other side. So when it goes to the other side, it would end up becoming a positive like that. Then the next step is you need to get rid of this 3. Some people say, yeah, but look, the y is by itself. But no, it's not. That 3 needs to be taken away. So you would do that by dividing everything by 3. So what you would then end up with is y equals to 4 over 3 plus 2 over 3x, okay? Now, this part here, you could write it in a different way. You could also write it as um, 2x over 3. It doesn't really matter. And now we can call this slope-intercept form. Why? Because the y is completely by itself. Now, if they did have to ask you, um, if you look at this, they would say, what is the slope? Don't say 4 over 3. Remember, the slope is always the one that is in front of the x. So your slope would be this number over here, 2 over 3. So that would be your slope, which would be 2 over 3. And then your y-intercept would be this one here. All right, so now we're going to do some examples. So here's our first example. We have to convert it into slope-intercept form, and then we also need to get the slope and the y-intercept. So I want you to, to, to mention what the slope and the y-intercept is. All right, so remember, your goal is just get the y by itself. You can get the y on the left or the right. It doesn't matter. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to leave this y exactly where it is because it's already positive. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 5x to the left, and I'm going to take this minus 5 to the left as well. So when this 5x goes to the left, it becomes negative. So we're going to end up with negative 5x. And when this negative 5 goes over to the left, it would end up becoming positive. And then on the right-hand side, you're still going to be left with the y. You might say, what happened to the 0? Well, you could write it if you want to, but 0 doesn't really do anything, so I just ignored it. And so there we are done. Well, we do have the equation in slope-intercept form. So now remember, the number that is in front of the x, that is the slope. So the slope would be minus 5, and then the y-intercept would be the other number. And so that would be? positive 5. Here's our next example. So remember, to get the equation in slope-intercept form, you've got to try to get it to look like this, where you've got the y completely by itself. So I'm going to take this 7x over to the other side. So we're going to end up with 3y equals to minus 12. Uh, now when that 7x goes to the other side, it becomes negative. So it's going to become negative 7x. Then I need to divide everything by 3. So you have to divide everything by 3 because you want to get this y by itself, right? So to do that, you need these two to cancel out. But what you do to the one side, you have to do to the other side. So you're going to end up with a y. Then this here, negative 12 divided by 3, would give us negative 4. And then minus 7 over 3 x. Now remember, if you wanted to, you can also write this as 7x over 3, like that. It doesn't really matter. So now let's go get the slope. So the slope is always the number in front of the x. So is that the 7? No, that's not correct. It's this whole number. It's the negative 7 over 3. So that would be your slope. 
And then the other number is your y-intercept, like that. And here's our last example. So you need to get the equation with the y completely by itself. So you see this y here, it's negative. So I'm gonna take it to the left so it can become positive, And then I'm gonna bring this x over to the right. So what we would end up getting then is that on the left hand side, you would end up with a positive y. And on the right hand side, you would end up with the negative x because it is positive here. But when it goes over to the other side, it becomes negative. And so there we have the y by itself. So now we can immediately go get the slope and the y-intercept. So the slope would be the number that's in front of the x. And so that would be this minus. Now, you can think of it as a minus 1. So the slope would be minus 1. And the y-intercept would be the other number, which is negative 4. And so that's it for this lesson. I just wanted to help you be, um, to learn how to take an equation and then convert it into slope-intercept form.